I'm Christopher Buffoli. I'm a Seattle-based photographer. I do editorial photography as well as fine art. I call this series Big Appetites. This project is um, a combination of toys and food, so it's tiny little figures on food environments. That context between the character and the food is important to making the picture work. So this piece is called Zesty Mower, and this is one of the ones that has been a very, very popular image in the series. I was in the kitchen and started to rhyme to this orange and then realized that I had a figure that the gauge of the lawnmower kind of fit the channels of the uh, orange perfectly. Sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you'll struggle for hours with something, it just doesn't work and you'll have to come at it another day and maybe take another try at it. Food in particular was a conscious choice just because I'm half Italian so I love food, I love to cook, I love to eat obviously. Food is really beautiful, has great texture and color. I like to shoot with what's real and what's, you know, what's in season, what looks fresh. So Seattle's a great place to do food photography and to be a foodie, really, because you have this wonderful nexus of all these kind of a bit of Asian culture, but also Native American culture that all come together in Seattle. The reaction to the series has been strongest among people that love food. I think it's, it's accessible to a lot of people. Whether you eat with a fork or chopsticks or your fingers, everybody understands food. What's been interesting to see is people's own personal responses. Maybe it's a childhood memory with a food or you know, a connection to a, a situation that's going on in each photograph. Food is always such an exciting material for a lot of people, I think. Everybody's had their own kind of personal thing that they take away from the work, which has been very exciting to see. I would love to say that I'm clever enough to have planned this and planned the reaction, but I think the message is that you should really do what you love and you should really do something for the inherent joy of creating it and anything else that happens is incidental.